Today, children, today we are going to continue with our lesson, the last lesson for Unit 6, Food Waste. We are going to do a simple revision. You may refer to your Get Smart Club steps book. So we're going to start off with a revision revise of vocabularies. Onions, onions, lettuce, lettuce, chocolate, chocolate, biscuits, biscuits, sugar, sugar, flour, flour, salad, salad, omelette. Omelette. Now, now we're going to focus on um, grammar focus. There is some and there are some. So we use there is some and there are some for uncountable nouns, things that you cannot count but you can see and touch, like water, flour, sugar, and countable noun, plural meaning many. A lot of things that you can see, you can touch, and you can count. For example, uncountable. We start off with there is some. There is some honey. There is some sugar. There is some cheese. Is because uncountable. We use there are some for countable. For example, there are some onions. You have the word s. There are some peppers. We use the word pears. And there are some carrots. Next, let's try some simple practices using the are some and there is some. Write the correct sentence. We will start off from this picture. From this picture, we can see there are some input items in the fridge and there are some vegetables on the table. So we're going to start off with everything in the fridge. Let's make a sentence. Number one, there is some milk in the fridge. Milk? What about this? We can count, we can touch. It's plural. So there are some eggs in the fridge. What about this? There is some Juice in the fridge. Very good. Now let's try this item on the tables. We have lettuce, tomatoes, onions, and carrots. So how do you write the sentence using lettuce? Lettuce is uncountable. Therefore, the answer would be, there is some lettuce on the table. What about tomato? There are some tomatoes on the table, there are some onions on the table, in the last one, very good, there are some carrots on the table. Now we are going to focus on any, we use any when we ask questions or negative sentence. Negative sentence here means you don't have anything, zero, no item. We use any to ask questions. We still have uncountable and countable. When you see uncountable, we use is. When we see countable, we use are. So for example, when you start asking a question, we use is. Is there any? Is there any honey? Is there any sugar? Or is there any cheese? So when you have any of this item above, we will say, yes, there is. But if you don't have any of this item above, we will say, no, there isn't. Now what about countable? The same. We start our question with are. Are there any? For example, are there any onions? Are there any peppers or are there any carrots? The same goes. If you have all of these items above, we would say, yes, they are, but you have nothing. 
you will say no they aren't now we are going to use any to write negative sentence for uncountable and countable when we see uncountable we will use is when we see uncountable we will use are so for example there isn't any there isn't any honey there isn't any sugar or there isn't any cheese if are we start with there aren't any there aren't any onions there aren't any peppers or there aren't any carrots now let's try to use there isn't or there aren't and yes no questions to answer uh, to answer questions using N. Now write the correct answer. So let's look at the picture before we go through the questions. From the picture, we can see we have a few paper cups, we have eggs, a slice of pizza, two sandwiches, a plate of spaghetti, and a bucket of fried chicken. We also have a big water bottle. So, let's go through the first question. Is there any fried chicken? So, when you see the question is, our answer should be, it is uncountable. So, our answer would be, yes, there is. See? Now let's try number two. Is there any chocolate? Did you see any chocolate from the picture? No, right? So what would be the answer when they say there is? Your answer should be No, there isn't. What about number three? Is there a water bottle? Yes. So the answer would be Yes, there is. Now, number four. Are there any eggs? You're right. The answer is yes, they are. Because the question here starts with are. Number five. Are there any paper cups? Very good. Yes, they are. Number six. Is there a slice of pizza? Well done. The answer is yes, there is. Number seven, is there a donut? Well done. No, there isn't. What about the last question? Are there any burgers? Very good. The answer is no, there aren't. Now, I want to focus a little bit on writing tips, commas, and the word and. We use comma and the word and to write a list of things in a sentence. Okay, for example, there is some chocolate, comma, some ice cream, comma, some biscuits, and some cakes. When you use comma, it, it, it means that you still have some other food or some other items that you want to add. You use the word add when it is the final thing that you want to add in your sentence. So let's try. Number one, the bread was soft, delicious. You're going to end the sentence. So you use the word and. Now let's try number two. Anna's favorite fruits are... Bananas, grapes, apples, watermelon. So can you try? Very good. Anna's favorite fruits are bananas, comma, grapes, comma, apples, and watermelon. Number three. You need some lemons, water, sugar, and ice cube to make a jug of lemonade. Can you try? 
Well done. The answer is he needs some lemons, comma, water, comma, sugar, and ice cubes to make a jug of lemonade. Number four. I have some cereals, comma, milk, comma, banana, and raisins for breakfast. So that's all from me today. I hope you understand the lesson. Bye. See you in the next class.